the lady explained it to me so it's it's dry you can see it's dry towards the end and it's got a bit of a smell to it but we'll take care of that after washing um, this is what you're going to need you're going to need a paddle brush Tresemme Smooth Silk Shampoo and the Tresemme Smooth Silk Conditioner and then my all time favorite the John Frieda Frizz Ease um, Extra Strength as well as good old Fabric Soft in my case I'm going to use Stay Soft I'm going to take my paddle brush and I'm going to brush the hair i'm going to gently do it gently so i don't shed or tear the hair and this wig was made with a pantyhose so if i use excessive force then i'm going to tear into the the stocking wig cap that was used the nape area remember to brush out the nape area because that's where most of the tangles are Once the hair is brushed, I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to run some lukewarm water in the basin. Once the basin is filled up, I'm going to take my shampoo and I'm going to put some in the water. Then I'm going to run my fingers through so the shampoo will dissolve in the water. After that, I'm going to put the hair in the water with the shampoo mixture i like to do this with the wigs so it can get rid of the dirt that we tend to miss when we wash the wigs by hand so i'm going to put the wig in here and i'm going to leave it 30 minutes to an hour should be enough i'm going to leave it and i'll see it when i get back so some of the footage got cut this is after i've shampooed the hair and i'm now about to rinse the shampoo so wash the hair regularly with shampoo then i'm rinsing out the shampoo again this hair was a bit dirty so i washed i repeated twice with the shampoo and i'm going to rinse out the shampoo make sure you rinse everything out until you're satisfied So I'm trying to get as much of the water off the hair. Don't twist your hair. Don't wring your hair. It's not a towel. It's hair. I'm going to run water again. And I'm going to rinse it again. Because like I said, the hair was a bit dirty. So I want to make sure it's properly rinsed. The water is running clear and I'm satisfied that the hair has been washed well. So I'm going to wring out the water as best as I can. Don't wring your hair. I'm going to now take the Tresemme Smooth and Silky Conditioner. And I'm going to drench the hair in this. This is one of my favorite conditioners for weaves and wigs. Because it is amazing. The hair always comes out properly. So I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to rub it in with my hands. Make sure the hair is covered from root to tip. So I'm working it in with my fingers. Making sure I go all the way to the tips of those roots and all the way to the ends because those are the driest areas i'm going to take my paddle brush and i'm going to brush through the conditioner to make sure all the strands of hair are covered and also this will help with detangling any knots and tangles that we may have missed before we're going to work them out now
so here comes the good part i'm going to take my fabric softener in my case i'm using stay soft but you can use anything and i'm going to pour two cups of this so i've gone and plugged the basin so it doesn't run out so i'm putting it all over the hair and then i'm going to put it down if it needs more you can use more in this case i used one cup and i'm going to see if i need more so i'm working it into the hair and i am using the hair to soak up any of the fabric softener that got spilled into the basin As you can see, I'm just rubbing the fabric softener into the hair. Now I'm going to add another cup. And we're going to put it all over the hair again. I'm going to rub it in the hair. Work it through with your fingers. Make sure you get every strand of the wig. And then I'm going to brush it using my petal brush. I'm going to brush the fabric softener. Take your time and work that fabric conditioner into the hair. This is going to help you get rid of all that frizz that we saw in the beginning. And it's going to give this hair a new shine. And it's going to be bouncy and it's going to move. So you can put it on a plastic bag but I'm just going to leave it there. After I've left the hair for like two hours, I came back and I rinsed it. And I'm going to keep rinsing it. Make sure you rinse all of the fabric conditioner out of your hair. Make sure. Rinse it multiple times. And use lukewarm, almost cold water because that will help with the shine of the hair. Using lukewarm or cold water after a condition can will give you amazing shine. Trust me. So I'm going to bring out the water. You know? And now I'm going to use the John Frida Frizz Ease Serum. Two pumps of it. Rub it into my hands and then I'm going to rub it onto the hair while it's wet. This serum helps with frizz. It fights frizz. And ever since I started using this, listen, after styling my wigs, my wigs are sleek and shiny. And it's like frizz for who? What is frizz? Now I'm going to brush the hair through. Brush it through so the product can go all the way through the hair. If you need some more, feel free to add a bit more. It doesn't hurt. This hair is really long. This is 26 inches of hair with a 20 inch closure. So it may need more. So I'm going to hang the wig up in the shower again. I like to do this because it's at night. The lady explained it to me. So it's it's dry. You can see it's dry towards the end. And this is the hair after blow it's got drying. It's a bit of a straightening. It is sleek, shiny, we'll take care of and that after washing, as you can. With curly hair, it's very important that you don't comb it out when it's dry because it's so easy for you to snag and tear the hair. So you can either detangle using shampoo 
or conditioner normally i use conditioner but today i'm going to show you guys how i detangle when the hair is lathered in shampoo so i'm going to drizzle some shampoo on the hair this is the one side of the hair and then i'm going to work that in with my fingers in a downward motion so from the root to the ends and that is the motion i use because that way all the cuticles line up if you do it in the opposite direction you're just going to frizz up your hair then i'm going to take my brush this is the brush i like to use for curls and i am just going to brush as you can see i'm starting from the ends Detangling hair is a process that takes a while so you want to take your time. I've just flipped the wig over and I'm going to drizzle shampoo on the other side of the hair and I'm just going to continue with the detangling process. You can keep adding shampoo, make sure that it's completely coated, you don't want to risk having dry patches where you're going to tear the hair. At this point you can see I can move the brush quite easily from the roots to the ends and that means I have done a very good job at detangling this hair. I'm just going to keep brushing through, see if I have any snags or any knots. And then I just want to show you this is the hair that shed from the curly hair. Don't be afraid, curly hair does shed quite a bit. If you feel satisfied with your detangling job, then you can rinse out the hair. If you still feel a little bit of knots, don't worry about it. You can always continue detangling when we condition the hair. So I'm just making sure to rinse out the hair. Make sure all the shampoo is out and then we will condition. So I'm going to be using that Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner and I'm just going to put this all over the hair, work it through with my hands, flip the hair over and add some more. I want to ensure that I coat every strand with this. This is a very nice conditioner for curly hair and my curly hair always comes out so soft. Once I've coated the hair in conditioner, I'm just going to give it a little brush to ensure that I don't have any tangles. And now it's time for our secret ribbon, Stay Soft aka Fabric Softener. I'm going to put a cap of this. Make sure to plug your basin and then put this all over the hair. I'm going to work this through with my hands and just make sure that all that hair is coated. Then I'm going to grab my brush and I'm just going to brush it through. If it's not enough, you can add another cap. And I just added another cap of the fabric softener. Work it through the hair. Make sure all the hair is coated from the frontal or your closure, from the roots to the ends. Work it through with your brush. And once you've worked that into the hair enough, I'm just going to leave the hair in the basin for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm going to come back and rinse um, the fabric softener and conditioner off the hair with some lukewarm water. Don't use water that's too hot because you're then just going to strip the hair of that silkiness from the conditioner and the fabric softener.
very important you need to make sure you rinse your hair out thoroughly i am brushing the hair out i'm rinsing it taking my time because you don't want your hair smelling like fabric softener and once that's done i'm just going to give it another brushing and my hair will be good To finish off, I am going to grab my Aunt Jackie's Curlala Curl Defining Custard and I am going to scoop up some of that in my hand, rub it together and work it through the length of the hair. I find that this helps my curls become bouncier and a lot more defined and I definitely love how this smells. So I'm just going to brush that through my curls and at this stage I'm very happy the hair turned out 